Hi friends, today we are going to study the marginal concepts under mathematical economics, second chapter. Marginal concepts means we are studying the impact of changes. That finding the marginal values or changes by taking the derivative of that function. We are going to find the change in y due to change in x. That is, we are taking the differentiation of the function. The differentiation, total differentiation or partial differentiation. Total differentiation we take dy by dx and partial differentiation dou y by dou x when there are x and y variables are present or more than one variable is present. The derivative of its respective total function is the marginal value. So, marginal revenue means derivative of total revenue function. Marginal cost is the derivative of total cost function. Let's find marginal utility. Marginal utility means change in total utility due to one unit change in quantity consumed. That is marginal utility is equal to the derivative of total utility dtu by dq let's find an example u is a is equal to xy plus 3x plus y then marginal utility of x how we find that is dou u by dou x that is let's find where the x variable are present in the utility function that is xy so here x and y are present. So the uh, coefficient of x that is y we take as answer. Then next is 3x. So the coefficient of x is 3. So dou u by dou x is the difference differentiated and the answer is y plus 3. Then likewise we are going to find the marginal utility of y also. Let's check where the y variables are present. In the first term that is x, y. Here y variable is present. The coefficient of y is x. We take x as answer. Then again in the second term there, there is 3x. Now y is present so we leave it. Third term that is y. The value of y is 1 so take it as 1. So, marginal utility of y is x plus 1. Let's take marginal propensity to consume. Marginal propensity to consume is when we get an additional income, what proportion of income is spent for consumption? That is marginal propensity to consume. It is the amount by which consumption changes in response to an additional change in disposable income. Disposable income means this income that is meant for consumption after paying all the taxes. Okay, additional income that is used for consumption that is marginal propensity to consume. The additional income that is used for consumption. If MPC is 0.25, that what is what it meant? It meant 25 percentage of extra income is spent for consumption. Uh, how we find MPC that is by change in consumption by change in disposable income. So MPC is equal to DC by DY that is we are just find the first derivative of the function consumption function. Let's find another example C is equal to 600 plus 0.65Y. Here the value of Y. Just to find uh, the total differentiation of the function, consumption function with respect to y, that is dc by dy. So, the, let's check whether the y variable is present in first term. No. So, leave it. Second term, y variable is present and its coefficient is 0.65. That value is dc by dy. The value is 0.65. Next, marginal propensity to save. It is change in saving due to change in income. The proportion of increased income will be saved. In change in saving divided by change in the income. That is 
marginal propensity to save so it is the uh, slope of the saving line the first derivative of the saving function that is ds by dy that is mps then we know that mps and mpc is equal to 1 so how we find mps does 1 minus mpc then marginal product marginal product means uh, marginal product of labor and marginal product of capital uh, how we find marginal product of labor and marginal product of capital from the total productivity function so there are labor and capital two variables are there so we uh, find the partial differentiation of that function e uh, equation for marginal productivity of labor is dot tp by do l and equation for finding marginal pro productivity of capital is do tp by do k again an equation is given q is equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square the marginal product of x and y marginal productivity of x is equal to do q by do x so let's check whether the x variables are x variables are present in the equation the first term is x square the coefficient of x is 1 and power of x is 2 so multiply with the power into coefficient we will get 2x then power minus 1 2 minus 1 that is 1 so the uh, value of x is x 2x plus then second term 2xy so x is present the coefficient of x are 2 and y, 2y. Okay. Likewise, we are going to find the marginal productivity of y also. The equation is dou q by dou y. So, we will get when uh, finding the first derivative, it is 2x plus 2y. Then marginal cost. Marginal cost is the change in total cost due to the production of an additional unit of output. That is marginal cost is equal to the first differentiation of total cost function dtc by dq. That is tc is equal to x cube minus 9xy minus 3y cube. So we are going to find the marginal cost of x and marginal cost of y marginal cost of x is equal to in the equation there are x and y variables so we are going to take a partial differentiation dot tc by dou x is equal to first term check the first term where uh, the x is present yes it is x cube so multiply the power with the coefficient so it is 3 into x 3x then power minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 it is 2 so 3x square again in the second term that is minus 9xy x is present so the coefficient are taken as answer that is minus 9y then marginal cost of y that is dot tc by dou y here again y variable is present in the second term minus 9xy so we are ta uh, taking the coefficient of y as minus 9x then minus y variable is present in the third term that is minus 3y cube so multiply the power into coefficient 3 into minus 3 9 minus 9 then y, y the power of y is 3 3 minus 1 that is 9 y square then marginal revenue how we find marginal revenue is the uh, change in total revenue due to the production of an additional unit of output so marginal revenue is equal to dou tr by dou x then let's find another example the total revenue function is 2xy raised to 4 plus 7x cube y so margin revenue of x is equal to dot tr by dot x here uh, as usual we are uh, checking whether the x variable is present in the first term yes it is 2xy raised to 4 
so the power of x is 1 and coefficient of x is 2 y raised to 4 so we take the coefficient 2 y raised to 4 plus then in the next term there is, there is 7 x cube y so multiply the uh, power of x with the coefficient 3 into 7 21 x 3 minus 2 power is 2 3 minus 1 the power is 2 then y so answer is 21 x square y likewise we are going to find the marginal revenue of y also taking the partial differentiation dot er by dou y so we will get get 4 power of y is 4 4 into 2 8 x then the power of y is 4 minus 1 that is 3 so power of y is 3 so we will get 8 x y cube plus in the next term there is 7 x cube y so the coefficient of y is 7 x cube marginal rate of substitution marginal rate of substitution we find in indifference curve analysis the, the amount of one good the consumer is willing to give up for getting an additional unit of another good so the consumer is staying back in the same indifference curve a marginal rate of substitution of x for y mrs xy that is change in good y due to one unit change in the stock of good x so we how we find marginal uh, rate of substitution of x for y that is marginal utility of x by marginal utility of y so marginal utility of x is equal to dou u by dou x marginal utility of y is equal to dou u by dou y so utility function a problem is given as u is equal to 3x plus y so marginal utility of x is equal to dou u by dou x that is 3 the simple function 3x plus y the coefficient of x is 3 so take as 3 then marginal utility of y is equal to dou u by dou y so y variable is present the value of y is 1 so it is 1 then how we find marginal uh, rate of substitution marginal utility of x by marginal utility of y so it is 3 by 1 answer is 3 marginal rate of technical substitution another variable uh, another marginal value concept that is marginal rate of technical substitution we find it in iso count analysis that is amount of one input willing to give up for obtaining an another unit of other good that is MRTS LK is the amount of input K that the producer is willing to give up for getting an additional unit of uh, L. That is MRTS LK is equal to MPL by M MPK that is dou Q by dou L by dou Q by dou K. When we uh, arrange, rearrange it, we will get as minus dou K by dou L. Uh, dou q by dou k is cancelled out and the negative of the slope of an isocon that is negative value so we eliminate usually we eliminate the negative value by considering that only the absolute values then mrts xy that is uh, another problem is given that is q is equal to 6 x square plus 3 x y plus 2y square mrts xy is equal to when uh, we are going to find mrts xy when y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 5 so let's find uh, mrts xy by marginal productivity of x by marginal productivity of y we know that marginal productivity of x is equal to dou q by dou x and marginal productivity of y is equal to dou q by dou y so differentiate the function with respect to x first so here in the function the first term is having x that is 6 x square the power of x is 2 and coefficient of x is 6 multiply the power into coefficient that is 6 into 2 so here it is 12 x plus in the next term also there is x present 
that is 3xy the coefficients of uh, x is 3y so it is we are taking the coefficient likewise we are going to find margin of productivity of y also that is dou cube by dou y and uh, substitute the values x and y as 4 and 5 then we will get as like this then average revenue and marginal revenue Average revenue is the total revenue generated per unit of output sold that is TR by Q. Then marginal revenue is the addition to total revenue by the sale of additional unit of commodity that is DTR by DQ. In perfect competition we know that AR and price are the same AR, MR and price are the same. Then let us find the relationship between AR and MR relationship. AR is falling when MR is less than AR. AR is rising when MR is greater than AR. When AR is equal to MR, AR won't change. The perfect competition AR and MR are straight, uh, same, so it is a horizontal straight line. In monopoly or imperfect competition, MR lies below. Then average cost and marginal cost ac that is average cost cost of producing one unit of output that is ac is equal to tc by q mc is addition to total cost by the production of an additional unit of commodity that is dtc by dq when mc is greater than ac ac is rising when mc is less than ac mc is falling mc cut ac at its minimum point these are the relationship between ac and mc then ac mc slope of ac is positive mc lies above ac and slope of ac will be zero when ac is equal to mc slope of ac will be negative if only the marginal cost curve lies below ac then again uh, question is given uh, find mc that is dtc by dq find the minimum ac how we find minimum ac by equating the first deriv derivative into zero then find the values of values likewise the example is given just go through the example find the values if the value is minus that means the function is maximum then concept of elasticity that is to measure the relative change in one variable due to relative change in another variable demand elasticity e is greater than one means elastic demand e is less than one means inelastic demand e is equal to one that is unitary elastics supply of elasticity dou q by q by dou p by p that is elasticity of supply is equal to dou q dq by dp into p by q Price elasticity, how we find? It is dou Q by dou P into DQ by DP into P by Q. That is price elasticity. Here the notion N is also given. It is uh, used for uh, representing elasticity. EP is also price elasticity that is equal to 0 means perfectly in elastic demand. N is equal to 1 or elasticity is equal to 1 means unitary elastic and is between 0 and 1 means inelastic demand and is greater than 1 that is means elastic demand and is equal to infinity means perfectly elastic so there are five concept of elasticity concept of elasticity we are considering a linear demand function linear demand function means uh, it is a straight line equation and when we plot the points on a graph we will get a straight line q is equal to b0 minus b1p the slope of first derivative that is dq by dp that is uh, here dq by dp in the equation q that is p p variable uh, its coefficient is b1 it's so it is b1 sometimes the equation may be delta q by q divided by delta p by p delta denoting the change so how we find the change delta q from the earlier value minus the present value so q1 minus q0 is delta q determinants of price elasticity uh, what are the uh, determinants of price elasticity the availability of closeness of substitutes more substitutes 
greater will be the elasticity and nature or need of the uh, good that is satisfies there are three types of commodities luxury necessity and comforts for luxury commodity elasticity will be greater than one necessity does less than one so it is inelastic when there are more than more time is present elasticity will be greater than one the proportion of income being spent on consumption then marginal revenue and elasticity the relationship between mr and the elasticity mr is equal to p into 1 minus 1 by e the equation is p into 1 minus 1 by e Uh, the relationship showing marginal revenue and elasticity equation is p p into 1 minus 1 by e how we find the total revenue does p into q here uh, mr is equal to p p is sometimes in the perfect competition p may be average revenue so average revenue into 1 minus 1 by e also is the answer then mr is equal to d p q by d p d by d q of the function p into q uh, that is total revenue p into q is the total revenue here there are two variables are present so we uh, are adopting the product differentiation rule so p into d q by d q plus q into d p by d q d q by d q is one so leave it so answer will be p plus q d p by d q elasticity the symbol as uh, sin is minus minus dq by dp into p by q rearrange the equation we will get minus e is equal to minus e into p by q is equal to dq by dp so minus p by eq is equal to dp by dq then p minus q p divided by eq is equal to p minus p by e so likewise we will get a marginal revenue is equal to p into we are uh, taking p outside so in the bra uh, bracket it will be 1 minus 1 by e so p into 1 by 1 by e is the mr in some cases p is ar perfect competition so we can either write p into 1 minus 1 by e or ar into 1 minus 1 by e uses of elasticity for what purpose elasticity is taken for finding the changes in taxation changes in exchange rate exploiting monopoly power if the uh, the monopoly power is exploiting uh, with, uh, we need to take the elasticity then government intervention in the market and its impacts we can take the elasticities as income increases the expenditure on food declines that means uh, the earnest angle developed and concept that is income increases the expenditure on food items decrease so it is a concept of angle function it is derived in 1857 and then it formulated an angle's law that is percentage of income spent on food declines as income increases it is known as angle's law then income elasticity that is dy is equal to delta q by delta y into p by q if normal good elasticity will be greater than 1 or positive necessary e elasticity lies between 1 0 and 1 luxurious elasticity is greater than 1 inferior good uh, that is uh, value will be negative and elasticity will be less than 1 then cross elasticity of demand cross elasticity of demand relates to price of good and its uh, demand okay then cross elasticity there are when there are two goods present x and y so so e x y or e 1 2 is equal to do q by do x by do p y into p y by do x do x q x so positive for substitutes value will be positive for substitute goods if we get the value uh, as positive uh, we assume that it is substitute goods 
then in the textbook it has uh, taken as e12 x5 uh, for uh, the values x and y we are taking 1 and 2 so e12 is equal to do q1 by do p2 into p2 by q1 let's study the equation we will get a problem for finding cross elasticity e12 is equal to do q1 by do p2 into p2 by q1 then angle function the cons concept closely related to income and cross elasticity and it describes a, how a consumer's expenditure on some goods or services relates to its uh, total income then qi is equal to gi yeah. into yz where qi means quantity consumed of good i then y is income z is a vector of uh, other characteristics like age uh, categories of consumer etc then considering aggregate commodities like food clothing etc this is this formulated the engels law Ernest Engel in 1857 so thank you this is about the second chapter study well all the best thank you